Okay, let's stop recording. Okay. Here we are Wednesday. Um, class 21, which <laughs> a packet never goes that long, but here we are. We're at the mega packet. Um, all right. So yesterday we talked about, yesterday before in here, we talked about this idea of a, for, a theoretical physics being able to solve a problem like we did. We spent in the hallway. We talked about it for a day and a half. Uh, all this thing, trying to figure out what the acceleration is of that ball going down the incline. And uh, theoretical physics did it in about two minutes. Um, the thing is, though, that, that what we did in the hallway was empirical. Um, but sometimes you have to do that. I mean, sometimes we thought this, I'm not going to go into it. But, you know, sometimes, sometimes theoretical leads the charge, like Peter Higgs in the 1960s proposes the Higgs field. And then they then, then the search is on for the Higgs boson, and that that gave rise to the Large Hadron Collider in the 2000s, which then uh, found it. So theoretical led the charge to empirical, and now they're 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 finding things with the Large Hadron Collider. They're still looking at data. They're, I think it's shut down now. They're 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 increasing its uh, power, but they're now all, all that empirical data they found is now giving rise to new theoretical so it kind of goes back and forth well yesterday this is a virtual let me make sure i think so yeah this is virtual so yesterday we uh, did the derivation of the second orange equation first and second orange equation um so first is fairly trivial, but that was a 10 step derivation. This will not be on the test tomorrow, but will be on the test in December or whenever that is. There might be one, there might, there might be a test like December 5th, 6th, and then a final December, whatever it is, 18th or something. That's what I'm thinking now. Um, let's go and try a problem now, number seven. Uh, from the second orange uh, equation, all right? So uh, we're going to follow the method of the, oops, of the, uh, sorry. We're gonna follow the method of the ancient mystic, uh, and take, take a few notes here, of the ancient mystic uh, C. L. Deepa. This would be about a fifth of a page of notes. If that much, we're not even know. You're just writing down some stuff. I mean, some. All right, so uh, or you can put it in the margins, I guess. So CL Deepa, and with the I, we box it in. P, we put a subscript U, so it becomes PU, and A, we circle it. So this is CL Deepa. It's not really a mystic. Uh, CL Deepa is just a um, mnemonic or an acronym to help you uh, how to solve a typical physics problem. And this will get you through a lot of physics problems in mechanics and in uh, E&M, even in modern physics. So uh, here we go, the C, stand, the C and the L, the first things you do, and those stand for circle, you do those at the same time, circle and label all the numbers and units in the problem, kind of like we do gold standard, right? But you circle and label all the numbers and units. So Crazy Joe Clayton jumps, in, jumps into his uh, heavy Chevy, floors it, takes him four seconds, okay? So that's the first thing that's worth circling. Obviously, that's time. To drive 80 feet, circle that, and that can be nothing else but delta x. I mean, I didn't do this in class, but but I forgot to do this. Okay, so... Here's your possible variables. You get at this point. These are the possible variables. I gotta remake through this tomorrow. No, shoot, it'll be after Thanksgiving. Anyway, here's the possible var variables: t, uh, time, uh, delta x. Uh, it could be v naught. It could be v final. It could be v bar. It could be a. Right now, those are all the variables we have. We'll have more later. Uh, but that, those are the ones you choose from as to what variable it is. 
through Wendy's parking lot, what's his acceleration? So we're trying to solve for A, so A, okay. Now the D part of this stands for the drawing. So we need a drawing here of Crazy Joe. It's a simple drawing. Starts here and yeah. Uh, what's my initial velocity? It never says, but you have to you have to make assumptions occasionally. You don't, you know, assuming he's dangerous in physics, but here you have to assume it didn't say that he was that, that the car was moving. Like Crazy Joe, I wouldn't put a past in there, jump into a moving car, but but let's assume that the car was stationary because it didn't tell us otherwise. So V naught is zero, just assume. Um, acceleration is what we're trying to find. So question mark, T is four seconds. When you go to the board, we don't do C and L, right? I mean, you might, but I don't see it on the board. So on the board, if they went to the board today, they have to do a labeled drawing. So it's like L deep, but you don't do the C. And then Delta X here, the entire delta x is 80 feet. Make this so you can see it. So the entire delta x is 80 feet. I'm counting on you guys to tell me stuff like, hey, I can't see that, or hey, your sound is bad, or because if you don't tell me, then it's, this is going to be a bad video and I got to do it again. More like that. Your lighting is terrible. Who does your hair? Delta x is. 80 feet. Okay. I'm trying to be nice, be neat. This is, this is a, this is for the record here. Okay. My grandkids will see this, maybe. Uh, all right. So, um, what is this acceleration? So, we get now, now the E part of CL DEPA, the E part stands for equation. We had to pick the equation. And I've hung the equations now from the ceiling. Um, maybe you ought to write, and you'll get a new equation sheet. Ooh, be nice if you have one for tomorrow's test. You don't need this on there. Uh, that was my plan, but tell you the truth, I have this, this company, it's called Ask Me Tutoring, and that has taken up all my time lately. So I don't see myself, my two partners are hassling me. I don't see myself getting much done besides writing the test tonight. It's going to be a late night as it is. So I don't think I'll get a new, a new equation sheet to you, but this wouldn't be on there anyway. Okay. E is the equation. So it's probably first or second, or it could be the pre-orange equations like V bar equals V naught plus V final you know, and, and V bar equals delta X over T. Uh, so anyway, um, it was one of those four equations. So looking at this, I know delta X, I know T, I'm trying to find A, it looks like the most obvious choice here is the second orange. So this, the E then stands for uh, write the equation. And you go ahead and write the equation. I mean, just as it is hanging from the ceiling. So we have delta X equals V naught T plus one half A T squared. Hey, hopefully you guys ask for a, uh, a, a iPad, a good iPad, oh, just an iPad, it doesn't be good. An iPad for Christmas. And then you can get, you order this, um, you order this app called Explain Everything and it works for students too, or Notability would probably work for you. Um, or you could even put it into the, uh, into the Apple Notes, I think. And then you could do all your work on there. You wouldn't need paper. And then you just send me the PDF and I'm, I'm cool with that. Because that's where I want to go more in the future. You know, we're asking me tutoring. I, I think students are going to be required to have an iPad pretty much because if they're living in South Carolina, we can't be, they can't come to my porch. So anyway, just a thought. If you're wondering what to, what to ask for for Christmas and your birthday, tell them it's for education. All right. Now what do we do? We have to, say okay, the next thing then is 
I, and I stands for isolate. I boxed in stands for isolate the variable you're looking for. Isolate the wanted, I guess, variable. So in this case, I want to know acceleration. So I go, ah, oh, yeah, yeah, I got to isolate the But wait, what break? Oh, let me turn on the comments. You can comment or you can, uh, or you can just tell me what break do we get here? on this equation. It's a very nice break. You're looking for the you're always looking for the breaks you can get. What break do we get here? You see it? So like plus? Well, um, I'll give you a hint. It involves the green kill pin. Oh, okay. What what gets killed? What goes away? What do you, oh, I mean, that's irritating. What goes away? Of these, of these, what goes away here? The V naught. Bingo. So I can bring out the green kill pin uh, point there to IO. Bring out the green kill pin, and that kills all of this part of the equation. That's all zero. So now I got to isolate it down to the, you always want to do that first, just save yourself a hassle. So I got to isolate it down to the A. So now I have Delta X equals one half A T squared. And I got to get the A by itself. So this used to be routine, but I think they stopped teaching this in math or they teach it for one day and then move on when that is one of the most important things you can possibly teach a high school kid. And that is to isolate a variable. Um, we're going to have a math science summit here within before Christmas, I think. Um, and we're going to, that's something we're going to ask them, please, can you start teaching a little more thoroughly how to isolate a variable? So we got to multiply both sides by two. We divide both sides by T squared, right? So uh, this ends up being two delta X I'll just set it up because this is good. This isn't just for you guys. I'm also writing this for the kid that's trying to figure out what happened in class today. Two, uh, okay, a t squared. Uh, and then we're going to divide both sides by t squared, right? Because we're trying to get the a by itself. I think, I think the thing is, people are just rusty at this. They haven't done it in a long time. That's really mostly what it is, probably. So then, um, uh, green kill pin takes those out. And so I'm left with a, a equals um, two delta x over t squared. And box that in. That's why you box in the i on CL depot, because you want to box in your uh, symbol equation. Uh, when I'm grading this, I'm looking for that. And that's going to give you a lot of partial credit. A lot of times students make mistakes. They forget to square things and all that stuff. But uh, if, you if you do that right now, this says phone's worth 20 points. Um, you've shown me the drawing, did the circle label, you've done all that. I'm going to give you 15 out of 20 right now on this. I got a deal for you. I'm going to give you 15 out of 20. Move on, 15 out of 20 points. Uh, now the rest is kind of, okay, so the next thing is PU. Now this PU can be a really stinker. <laughs> PU is plug in numbers with units. So sometimes, as we'll see in a minute, units are a pain because you got to do unit analysis, right? But in this problem, although it's feet, and by the way, we're working in uh, we're working in FSS in this problem, feet, slugs, seconds. There's no slugs involved, but there's no reason. I always get students then that what they'll do is the first thing they do is they convert everything back to meters and seconds. Not necessary. If it's if they gave you the problem in feet and seconds, they want the answer in feet and seconds, okay? Don't get them all pissed off. <laughs> this must be crazy. Okay, oh, here's something I forgot to tell the class. But crazy Joe Clayton is an American, 
okay? He believes in America, and you will never see a crazy Joe Clayton problem involving metrics because metrics came from France, and crazy Joe don't cotton to no French people, okay? Crazy Joe is a amalgam of all, I, I worked a lot of construction jobs when I was in college and I, he's an amalgam of, uh, a lot of these stories are somewhat true. <laughs> okay, so here we go with I. Now we're gonna plug in our numbers. So A then equals two delta X, delta X is 80 feet. 80 point feet, if you're worried about sig figs, divided by t squared. So that's four seconds squared. I don't say s for seconds because kids get it mixed up with a five. I don't write, I don't, I'm not a beautiful writer. So uh, anywho, so this ends up being um, 160 feet over 16 seconds squared, which conveniently works out. And it should be this way in the test tomorrow. Uh, I try and make numbers on tests so they work out as nice as I can make them work out. Sometimes you can't do it like, yeah, pi, right? You can't, you can't, <laughs> even though some teachers round pi to three, <laughs> that's one sig fig, man. All right, this ends up being 10 feet per second squared. Oh my God. Mr. Asky, why would it be second squared if you multiplied four seconds to itself? Because, good question, because when you multiply four, obviously that's 16, but when you multiply four seconds, you have to multiply the unit as well. So if it was four meters squared, it'd be four, four it'd be 16 meters squared. So it's, so it's four seconds times four seconds, which gives you 16 seconds squared which is nice because that is the units of acceleration, feet per second squared, right? Oh, uh, we're done. So I highlight, as a, you know, I'm, I'm, as a courtesy for the reader, I highlight the answers. They can easily find it. Uh, the reader being me uh, on your test. Uh, you know, I, I like that. I, I know you can't carry a highlight around with you, but it's nice. Uh, I reward you, you know, give you extra point here and there. So there we go. That's a full-fledged, you know, not too easy, not too hard, a full-fledged typical orange kinematic physics problem. Oh, uh, on the CL Deepa, the PU was the plug. PU was uh, plug-in numbers. uh and units so so numbers with units and sometimes that is the hardest part to the whole problem and then the a uh we circle the a because the a stands for answer but you should circle your answer so you box in your eyes to the very good circle your answer and someone said well what if i circle the fine fine i'm just being um ocd about it so there is CL Deepa. All right, excellent. Now, look what we get to do. We get to take number eight, nine, and 10, and we put a big X in it. Big X. Hey, always fun to do that. Work we don't have to do. All right. Now, hopefully you have a PDF of um, 2.11, or you've, you've printed off the PDF of 2.11. If you haven't, don't go run, well, I guess you can run off as long as you can hear me uh, and print it off. Uh, if you don't have a printer or you don't want to print them all off because there's six pages, you don't want to print them all off, just stop by my porch sometime today or tomorrow. Um, and now if you stop by tomorrow, you get a twofer, you can get those six papers stapled together, and then you can also get uh, the actual test for those of you that are home. Now, Jacob, you'll take it with me tomorrow, third hour, but if you're you know, virtual, you can come by and either, I'll send you a PDF at one o'clock, but if you don't wanna do that, you can come by and get a two-sided 
that'll save you some clicks or some ink on your printer. Okay, For, it'll save you, when you add it all up, it'll save you 14 sides. Uh, you know, 14 pages on your printer. So, but that'll be after, now don't come by early because it won't be out there till maybe give, maybe give me to 1.30 and I'll have it all out there mm, Friday. Uh, no, yes, you, okay, Friday, because you take the test Friday at 1.30. And I'd like you to either bring the thing back to me. Uh, I'll give you a couple of days, Friday, Saturday, but you're on the honor system. You can only spend an hour on it, okay? Only an hour. Okay, so here we are, we're on 211. Maybe I stalled long enough to, to print it off. And horror of horrors, we, wait a minute, we just, we just killed that guy. We just killed that. Ah! There it is again. Now there's a story, I'm not just messing with your head. Uh, last year, we didn't quite get to the back of this sheet. And so I had to scrap it. And then the next packet, this is supposed to be 3.1. The next packet starts with where packet two left off. So I repeated the back of 2.10. Okay, so that's why it's there like that. Thought you were gonna, thought you, <laughs> thought you had one. <laughs> but I got you. Okay, so one is the third orange. And that one, let's just wait till after Thanksgiving, okay? <laughs> okay. Um, uh, yeah, I don't wanna do two, two derivations in two days. That's just too much. So let's, there's no reason to just jump into that one. That's for special cases. Third orange is used when you don't know time. If you don't have a stopwatch with you and you're trying to do something, you can still figure out acceleration without a stopwatch. It's kind of cool. You can figure out velocity without a watch. That's kind of awesome. You can figure, well, eventually you can work way back to figure out time too without a watch. You can use physics to figure out time. Nice. But there are some cases where there's no watch available, no phone available, so you got to find another way to attack a problem. And that's third orange, but well, that is a harder derivation uh, than the second orange derivation. So let's just wait. Um, the problem there is if we wait, that means that every problem on 211 we can't do because they all involve the third orange. So let's just skip for now, let's skip to 11. Uh, let's go right to 212. So now you went and printed off 211 and I'm not going to use it. We'll use it. We will use it, but it'll be Monday. We'll go and derive that. That'll be your coming back party. We'll derive the third orange uh, on Monday. You're going to love me. So now uh, here we are. And Jacob, I, this is about where you came in today, I think. So if you wanted to, you can stick around with it. If you, uh, you know, knock off, I get it. Okay, how are we doing on time? We're doing good. So um, here we go. Notice at the top of 212, I have the CL DEPA. Uh, there's a reminder there how to solve these problems. It says you must use. Uh, and I'm, I'm saying that because here's what I see from a lot of students. Um, oh, sorry. I see this. See ya. Uh, and then out pops an answer. Uh, no, no, you're not gonna get much credit for that on test, if any. So you'll get maybe a three out of 10. Um, you can't do it that way. You have to show me the work. Kind of, if you've had chemistry, I'm sure you're tired of your chemistry for saying, where's your work? Here, what I'll do on test, if you don't show the, not every single step, but if you don't show most of the steps, uh, you'll get an MW on it and then it'll say question mark like more work or it'll just say w question mark like where's your work okay so 
it pays to be patient. Okay, so speaking of patience, let's get after this one. And uh, once again, I'm going to apologize for the lack of space for you to do your problem. And a lot of students get tired of that and they just do problems on their own paper. Like they'll attach, they'll just staple the paper. I'm fine with that. If you want to staple your, if you want to do is a notebook paper or graph paper and just staple it to it and then turn it in with your packet. I got no problem with that. The reason why about 10 years ago, the big problem, the big threat to Norman High was we were running out of paper budget. State had cut our budgets to the bone. And so we, we couldn't afford paper. Uh, that's how bad it got. So uh, we had to cut back on paper. So I was one of the biggest paper generators because of all these sheets, you know, I have a textbook. And so they forced me to squeeze everything down. So that's why these things are squeezed down with no room for you to work. That's why an iPad comes in handy. Okay. So uh, number two, let's try number two. Let's get save number one. We're, we're not, we're skipping these for now, but we'll come back to it. So let's try number two. Uh, and I'm going to give you a minute to, I'm going to put it on pause. So I don't, so the people at home don't sit and wait. But I'm going to give you a minute. On okay, folks at home, we're back from our pausing. We we we're going to pause, and you should you should pause and work the problem. Uh, hit hit the pause button, work the problem if you're watching the recording. You know, we're doing number two on uh, two twelve, and so you all have already done this or started working on it. Uh, I'm going to run through it, and now you can watch how I do it and see how we compare. Uh, I'm going to circle and label first. So that is acceleration, obviously from the units. Uh, and it says it's accelerating. So, uh, okay, duh. And then the velocity of 55 miles per hour, that's V naught to 60 miles per hour, that's V final. And I'm supposed to know how long a time. So I'm looking for T. Now, I would never write a question. In fact, I didn't write this question. This is leftover from the old program back in the 80s early 80s, but I would never write a question like this because on a test, because it didn't give you a specific unit. I mean, do I want it minutes, do I want hours? So in this case, it's seconds. And you can look, go ahead and look on the back, flip your paper over and look on the back. And I, sometimes I'll do that to make sure I'm gonna get the units right. The units here are, the answer is 3.7 seconds, which is, I give you the answers. Um, but anyway, you know, one year, Oh, it's a mistake. I gave the answers on the tests. I did like, like this. I put the answers to every problem because I, I was trying to make the point that I don't care about your answer. I mean, I do, but I don't want to see the work. So then, so kids would spend forever. They wouldn't finish the test because they weren't getting the answer. Right. And then, so, so many kids wouldn't finish. And then, and then one time on one of the tests, I put the wrong answer. I worked it wrong. I forgot to square something or something. Oh my gosh. That was a nightmare. I think I just give everybody credit. Uh, so anyway, I don't do it anymore. But on, on worksheets, you have the answers usually. Um, so here we go. There's, there's the CL. Now the drawing. Uh, v naught, I'm being lazy. There's V naught, there's V final. That's okay to do that. Acceleration is, I mean, if I do it, you can do it. 0.6 meters per second squared and T equals question mark. That's all I need for a drawing. Okay, now the equation. What do you guys say? First, second, pre, pre orange, red, what do we do? You can uh, chat it or you can, you can say it. What equation should I throw at it? Can you hear me? What do you say? Let me turn my volume up. What'd you say, Sophia? First orange equation. First orange, right? Uh, so you, could, you could throw second orange at it, but you wouldn't get very far. So first orange equation. So we have First, you got to write it down. I know you don't want to do it. You want to write the answer. You're in a hurry, homework, whatever. Just, just sit back and enjoy, you know? V equals V naught plus AT. Just engulf yourself in the physics. 
physics is more a way of life. You know, it's not really a class, it's a way of life. It's a way to live. Uh, but I'm not solving for V final, I'm solving for T. So now I gotta isolate. Unfortunately, the green kill pin can't come out. There's nothing I can kill here. So now I subtract V naught from both sides. I divide both sides by A. And I always put my isolated variable on the left side. So T equals V final minus V naught over A. Now, if that if that's like magic to you, you need to, we need to talk. Either if you're, you know, if you're listening to this and you're a, one of my students in class, come in at lunch and let's talk about it. If you're virtual, then, um, you know, we can still talk about it on Facebook or message or emails. Because that's isolating a very um, so now there's the I, boxed in I. Uh, the next thing is to PU, plug in your numbers and units. And here we go. This time we got an issue. So we have, I'm going to plug them in, uh, 60. So we have 60 miles per hour minus hour. The, the true abbreviation for hour is just H. I put HR just you know, to emphasize it, but H is really the true. 55 miles per hour over 0.6 meters per second. And sure enough, second squared. I'll have students, they'll just go at this point, they grab the calculator, pop, 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 nope. Uh, and that is equal to T. Now your first time you plug in a, a uh, into an equation, you need to have units. Now after that, I don't care so much, although in this case, it's kind of bad because it's unit analysis. But um, a lot of times at that point, you can just put the numbers in and your, as long as your answer has units. So let's do a little unit analysis here. Hopefully you got this far. And now it's just some unit analysis. So we're gonna do unit analysis inside the problem. So we have T equals some of this stuff, divided by points, uh, 0.6 meters. Go ahead. Um, can you subtract 60 and 55 before? It, you yes. Uh, yeah. I mean, I would never, uh, and students do it all the time. Like they do unit analysis for this and then do it for this. <laughs> no, man, you know, go, you know, keep your life simple. Um, that's what we did in class, subtract it. So then you really have five miles per hour on top. So we got to convert that five miles per hour into meters per second. So five miles per hour. Um, uh, okay, let's do hours over seconds, 3,600 seconds. And then miles, oh, here's, a, here's a conversion that we use all the time that I really haven't talked about yet, but kilometers to miles, there's 1.6, there's 1.6 kilometers in a mile, okay? And we still gotta get kilometers and meters, so there's a thousand meters in a kilometer. Okay, and voila. Now everything's the units you want to bring out the green kill pin just to be sure and hours get killed. We want to miles get killed, kilometers gets killed. And I'm left with on units, I'm left with just pure units. I'm left with um, meters per second per meters per second squared. And so um, that ends up being equal to seconds, right? Because remember that dividing by a number is like multiplying by the reciprocal. So meters per second, it's like saying meters second times second squared over meters and green kill pin goes away, goes away, that goes away. The square part goes away and I'm left with seconds. So sure enough, you do end up here in seconds. And now I'm gonna be super lazy and go and cheat and go to the answer and say, okay, 3.7. And this is a gutsy move because you might, you might've been wrong 
but I know I'm not. So T equals 3.7 seconds. So do as I say, not as I do. That's probably not a real good idea, but I'm trying to cut a little time here. Okay. So questions on that? Good. Mm, silence. Yeah, we're good. 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 So the last thing we're going to do today, the last thing, I know we're getting low on time. The last thing we're going to do today is number four. And number four, I sent them to the board. So I'm going to give you another two, I'll give you the other, the, the two minutes of uh, off air time. So let me pause this. All right, so those on uh, recording, we have paused. So you need to pause it if you haven't. I'm trying to work number four on 212. So a racing car and let's uh, follow through the, the routine. You gotta have a routine. Uh, it reaches a speed of 40 meters a second. Now, if I see that, I'm gonna initially think that's V final, right? That's my initial thought, and I'll keep reading. At this instant, it begins a uniform negative acceleration, which means it's slowing down. Uh, there's no such word as deceleration. I mean, there is, but it's not really a word you use in physics. De deceleration is a horrible word because it, it produces a misconception. There's either positive acceleration or negative acceleration. And it'll come, that'll come clear to you later on. Uh, we cannot use the word deceleration. Anyway, it begins as uniform negative acceleration using a parachute and a braking system comes to rest. So that means I was wrong. My initial assumption was wrong. That is V naught. So V, and you stop me anytime you want. V naught, and then comes to rest. So that means that means V final equals zero. Five seconds later. So obviously it's my time. And then determine the acceleration of the car and then figure out how far it's gone. So uh, we did a, do a drawing first. Car is now going at a high speed. These drawings are very boring uh, for now. And uh, V naught is right here. You don't need to write the number down. Uh, v naught, um, you can if you want. V final equals zero. Uh, the time is five seconds. And the question is, A is what? Okay. Um, yeah, so there's the C, and the L, and the D. Now the equation. Well, you don't need delta X. If you don't need delta X, you probably don't, it, and delta X wasn't given. So you probably aren't gonna use second orange. I mean, it comes back to, to going back to that, oh, I was on another sheet. Well, um, yeah, so you go, well, what I need, I need A. It looks like obviously first orange, right? So we say we started with right out there, V final equals V naught plus A T. And now we're gonna, this time instead of solving for T, we're solving for A. And so we subtract V naught from both sides, we divide both sides by T. A equals V final minus V naught over T. Now box that in, okay. And, uh, uh, yeah, so now it's time to plug and chug. Hope the units work out nicely. We hope and pray. And uh, A then equals 40 meters per second minus zero, all over five seconds. Yay, units work. So that means that acceleration is 40. Uh, so my units here, 40 divided by five is eight. And then notice that my units are meters per second per second, which is really meter second squared. I'll take you the one. So we're gonna circle that. Is there ASCII? Yeah. I thought 40 meters was V naught. So isn't it gonna be zero oh. minus 40? We're the same thing in class. What is going on? There's a two, that, that's automatic two points added. That's insane. Oh, or dead. Exactly right. So it's, thank you for that catch. I would have to destroy this tape. Zero minus 
40. I'll give you a three stamp, three points for that. So you're right. So it's negative. Well, it's not, I mean, it's, it's slowing down. So that's why you have negative acceleration. All right. Whoa. That was a close one. I right, hope. Some kid in Pakistan is going to thank you one day when they're watching this. Io, they'll, they'll have a they'll have a tribute to Io on their wall because he he saved the absent-minded professor so many times. All right, here we go. Now, um, B, how far does the car travel after the acceleration starts? Well, now now we got to use third. Uh, sorry, second orange. So for part B, we have write it down first. Delta X equals run out of room here. You never run out of room with the uh, iPad. You can always blow it up. So I have, at least with explain everything, a delta X equals V naught T plus one half A T squared. And I can't, I can't kill anything, but there's no really, it's already isolated. So that saves that issue. So now all I got to do is plug and chug. Looks like my units are nice. So I have delta X equals 40 meters per second times five seconds. Now that I made that dumb mistake, I'm in the danger zone. Uh, see, cortisol goes off in the head, stress. And that's what happens on tests to students. They make the dumbest mistakes. I know why. They're stressed. Uh, trust me. I get it. I, I do the same thing. Um, but if I said, okay, you have the luxury of time, which would, be, which would be in nirvana. You got three hours to take this test. You got four days to take this test. That'd be great. But in college, they don't do that. They, they give you one hour and you got 21 questions and you are moving. So you got to learn the triage techniques. So this is negative eight. I'd be doing you a disservice if I just gave you all the time in the world. Meters per second squared times T squared, five seconds squared. Good, and now you go right to the answer. And uh, being me and I'm down on time, I got a few minutes left. I'm gonna cheat and look on the back. And 4B says the answer is 100 meters. Ah, uh, you know what? That's worth, I don't want to cheat here. I don't want to cheat. Let me, let me not cheat on that. Hold on. There's a reason I want to talk about this. Something else you can do on an iPad. You can wipe things out. Give yourself more room. Okay. Um, so let's just, let's run the numbers on this for a second. Because this brings up a concept. So delta X. Change my... Delta X equals now 200 meters, right? Now that's if, that, that's the red equation kind of aspect of it. That's if you are not slowing down. If you continue on that 40 meters a second for five seconds, you'll go 200 meters, right? But every, if I plot this, um, no, we don't have enough time. I could plot it. That'd be a good question. Though. I could plot the trio, maybe the next test. That's a great question. Uh, force you to plot the trio on this. But you'd kind of see it then. But then, So then I subtract because acceleration, because I don't continue to put 40 meters a second in, you know, I, 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 I tax it a little bit. That's what, that's what the acceleration is doing. It's taxing it. So one half times negative eight is negative four. Negative four times 25 is minus 100 meters. So I could have gone 200 meters, but because of that tax, because of that negative acceleration tax, I only went 100 meters. Daggone tax. Took away 50% of my position gain. Okay. Now that's, that's as far as we got. That's more thorough than we did in class. So, 
but I want these to be more thorough. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna stop the sharing unless you have a question about a problem. Okay, so we're stopping the sharing. Um, before we stop the recording though, any, any like housekeeping questions that a kid that another virtual kid would want to hear? Uh, so for virtual, to all virtual students who are watching this not live, you need to take the test on Friday. And if you miss Thursday and you're in class, you should also take the test on Friday. Um, I'll send a PDF. Would I email it? Huh. This is the first time we've ever done this. So I'm not sure whether I'll email you a PDF or I'll just display it. I'll probably email it because I don't, this is, I like some kind of semblance of test security. So look for an email from me, your school email. Yeah. Friday afternoon, Friday around 1 ish, 1 30 or 2. Look for an email. If you don't want to mess with that, just come right to my porch and pick up the paper if you're close enough to my house. By the, at the earliest, 1 30 on Friday afternoon. Okay. And pick up a packet too while you're at it. Okay. Let's get that done Friday or I'll give you till Saturday, but I want it done so I can start grading these things um, before Thanksgiving. I don't want to be messing around with my family down in Austin trying to grade these tests. Okay, we're supposed to go sailing. My brother said, I'll take you got a big old sailboat. So I want to do that rather than grade tests. Lake Travis. All right, so I'm going to pause. I'm going to stop recording. And...